Thanks, George. Yeah, down here with the pride of the Southern Texas PGA, Mr. Ben Kern. You know him, you love him. He was the 2018 Low Club Professional at Bell Reeve Country Club for the PGA Championship. You were shot a little three under par, yep. 67 across That's the way at the Core Crenshaw Cliffside today. Tell us about it. That was a good plan. Uh, it's, it's a good little golf course. Greens are receptive, but you got to know how to play those greens. And it's uh, <clears throat> hit some good shots, hit some bad ones, but I'm very happy with my, my score. Well, two different tests for sure. We'll come over, obviously, for the final three rounds to the Fazio Foothills. But you played a few PGA Tour events uh, in your life recently at the Valero Texas Open. You're going to be moving on later in the year and playing the Houston Open. A lot of the great perks that come with playing great in your section here but uh, how does the atmosphere compare here at the PGA Professional Championship to that you know the circus that is the PGA Tour? Uh, <clears throat> atmosphere is like the same I mean I, I, the pressure you feel in this kind of event versus a tour event it's the same minus thousands of people but being able to come out here for the PGA Professional Championship that is my golf tournament that I hone in on every year. Well, something you honed in on today was your wedge play. Now, you played across the street just a shade over 6,500 yards over there. Uh, and you had a lot of wedge shots, maybe six, yeah. seven, eight wedge shots. Uh, what do you do to kind of dial in those in-between wedge shots? Well, first off, I'm a firm believer of never hitting a full wedge. The more you start hitting a full wedge, ball gets airborne, starts spinning like crazy. So if I'm ever at a number where I have my exact yardage, I'm going to go one more dial back, control the fly, control the spin, and on those greens, how slope they are, it's very important. All right, show us. Come on. Yeah. So big time, want to go up a wedge, control it. I want to control my backswing, keep my distance away from my body, and use my big muscles to hit this golf shot. So I got a pitch wedge in my hand, <clears throat> control my backswing using the big muscles. That was pretty sweet right there. stays down, the spin's under control, and you know where it's going. Yeah, well, you, you certainly dialed that in really well today. Uh, and, and uh, you know, as you as you move along in this championship, uh, there's so many great things on the store. But but let's uh, talk about one thing, and, and we'll close with this. See, Tejas Meat Supply on your shirt. You yeah. have, I, I talked to your uh, playing partner from the senior junior who you have had a lot of success mm -hmm. with, Bob Sowers. He said you are an amazing chef. Talk to us a little bit about your chef skills in the kitchen. Uh, I definitely like to get down. Um, love cooking in the new house now. I got a smoker, so I got a good buddy of mine, a uh, member of my course, Keith Odom. Uh, his partner is at a great bar and butcher in Georgetown on the square. <laughs> so I get some pretty good cuts of meat, pork butt, huge ribeye bone in, tomahawks. It's awesome. Man, I'm getting hungry just yeah. listening to that. Well, Ben, thanks so much. Yeah, great pleasure. plan. Thank you. Best of luck uh, and make your way and take on that Walter Hagen Cup. George? All right, appreciate it, Steve. To find a PGA coach near you to help you with your golf journey, all you have to do is go to pga.com slash coach.